Let's get a closer look at the market now with Dan Deming of KKM Financial. The stock market is running into some resistance. Why do you think we are seeing this rally fade? Well, Angie, this is going to be an interesting week because uh, last week the market did realize, uh, you know, some uh, resetting of expectations, I guess, coming off the highs that it attained. And uh, I, th as we move into this week, it really uh, is uh, more of the same, I think, to some degree as digesting the Fed message. We're seeing interest rates pushing up to the highest level in a month, and that's creating some headwinds for the market. And, uh, you know, that's going to be a theme throughout this week as we get towards the tail end of earnings. We're going to be focused on the data points this week, are, which are inflationary data points, CPI, PPI, and retail sales, and also the Fed message. And that's something the market is certainly going to be focused on now that we're seeing interest rates moving back up to uh, better than one month highs. What are your personal expectations for the market as you're watching all of this action, Dan? I, you know, I think it, it, it needed to come off a little bit, Angie. This market was, uh, you know, certainly got overextended as we went into the first uh, week in February, uh, you know, but a big run coming off of those December lows. So uh, not surprising. And I think that the fact that the market's held up, honestly, reasonably well, given the fact that interest rates have uh, reset as far as the expect expectations by the Fed moving forward. Uh, overall, I think it, it, it bodes well longer term for the market because the fact of the matter is the economy still is holding in there and inflation does appear to be coming off and we'll have to see if that trend continues. And if we do, then I would expect that the markets are going to be able to manage uh, this resetting of expectations in interest rates because we're a bit in the range that we have seen for the last six months. We're just at moving up towards the top end of the recent range in rates. The Fed, as you know, is fighting inflation by raising rates, hoping to slow the economy. But as you mentioned, the economy is holding in there and the jobs market is extremely strong. Business owners do not want to let workers go because the recession might not be that bad and then they have to rehire. What do you think is likely here? Yeah, the, the, the job market remains the outlier. And that's certainly something the Fed is very focused on. And that's a, what allows the Fed to maintain this aggressive stance. And, uh, you know, that's one thing moving forward, Angie, that uh, the tight labor market is something that, uh, you know, certainly has some people still concerned about the potential impact to inflation, particularly if we see significant increase in wage pressure. Now, that is not playing out at this point, but that's certainly something that could start to play out if we continue to see this labor market remain as tight as it is. Thank you, Dan. Have a great week. All right. Thanks, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.